Well, what is going on YouTube? Welcome back to a Therapeutic Edge. I like to find new budget-friendly knives. And uh, this is that. This is the unfortunately named, but very cool, War Spear. Now, it, that's the name of the company. This is actually the WP501K. Yeah, they're going to have to figure out some names for these. But that's what this is. It is 14C28N. It is micarta. Smooth polished micarta. It is steel liner lock. Locked up at about 25%, but locked up very, very well. Uh, it is a completely awesome and functional knife. It's got a nice deep carry clip. Now it does have proud screws, which I hope that they will change as they go. But look at this jimping down here, jimping back here. This is a fun knife, and these are about 38 bucks, 30, $35, $37, something like that. Uh, now, I got these off AliExpress, but you can, and I say these because I have some more of these that you guys are going to see later. That is my dog having a drink. Now, you may have noticed there's no flipper tab here. That's because this is a great big front flipper. <laughs> now, it has a green insert around the pivot on this side and the pivot is the, is the same shape on that side. It's got a nice big pivot on this side. Uh, they are seated in the liners and in the uh, in the micarta so you can unscrew them if you want to. And I know that it's that way, but excuse my arm, because with each one, I love this, look at this, war spear. Okay, I get it. Yeah, it's not the greatest name, but you get a warranty card, you get an information card, you get a... Uh, Cleaning cloth, which is really nice, and a full tool kit, including a different color uh, pivot collar. You can see that it's orange right there. Um, and a different color pocket clip. You get a black pocket clip and spare screws for 30, you know what? Let's split the difference, call it 33 bucks. I can't remember exactly how much they are off the top of my head. Sorry about that, but they're, they're less than $40. And that's fantastic. Now, these are available at White Mountain Knives. If you guys don't like AliExpress, and I know some people don't, but come on, look at that. You get a whole tool kit with the knife. That's rad. For a budget knife, that is fantastic. It really, really is cool. Now, <clears throat> the blade shape is very nice. It comes down to a very nice edge. These are very, very slicey. Uh, it is very comfortable because of the very basic handle, right? Pocket clip is a little pokey, but um, I'm not going to complain too much. As you can see, they are rounded and sculpted. Right? Look at that. These my car. <laughs> so good. Um, my hope is that this company um, figures out a naming convention for their knives, because calling this the WP501K, not awesome. So we're going to call it the Front Flipper War Spear, because that's what it is. Is it a basic design? Yeah, absolutely. Uh, a big, tall front flipper, but it works every time. <laughs> Rides the pocket exceptionally well. It does hang up on the on the proud screws, but you know, I'm not going to complain. Beyond that, the actual body screws and the pivot are completely sunk into the micarta, so you don't have anything else standing proud. It does have a, la a lanyard hole, as you can see right there, in, built into these steel liners. It is a G10 backspacer, which is interesting. I, you know, I'm good with that. I don't think I would want any more color on this knife, so that's really nice. I'm telling you, this thing is a comfortable user. It is ridiculously comfortable in hand. I love it. <laughs> I didn't think I would. Um, so this was not, you know, I mean, I, I poke around for good budget stuff all the time, but really what happened here is that the uh, a friend of mine, uh, who knows the guy that has designed and is selling these, uh, reached out to me and asked me if I would be willing to pick some up for review. And I went, looked at the prices and looked at the knives and said, yeah, okay. And I wasn't expecting to... Okay, so here's something I just noticed. I don't know if that's going to come up on camera. Do you see this light spot right here? There is a flat spot underneath the pocket clip on the micarta so that it lands smoothly. That is amazing. Who does that? 
Now, I know some of you aren't going to like the fact that it's sort of shadow box, that you can see the liners around the micarta, but I don't really care. In fact, I like that look, so this is really good for me. This is... <laughs> oh, what a surprise. Now, I have cut with it, which is why it's funny that I just noticed that. But, you know, the, the video lighting and radio lighting are different. That's really nice. Anyway, uh, the 14C28N blade holds an edge as... Well, all of my good 14C does. You know, I've got Harns and some other brands that I rely on for good 14C. This performs just as well. Um, I haven't had these tested or anything, but I'm going to say based on how well they hold up and the usage and what they cut before I started to notice a little bit of a decrease that they are very similar to the other 14C28N that I have. So that's good. <laughs> Oh, excuse me. Let's go ahead and get some size specs out of the way. This is not a small knife. Let's do the measurements just because we got it up here. You get one, two, excuse me, one, two, three and a half inches of cutting on three and a half inches, or if you come back here, three, three and a half inches of 14C. The grip area is, well, take your pick, but I'm going to do from just behind this because that's about where my finger stops, you see. One, two, three, four and a quarter inches of handle. Now, that does mean that the handle to blade ratio on this particular one is a little wonky for some of you, but I like it. I really do. It's just such a great work knife. The overall knife, one, two, excuse me, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight and a half inches long. Well, what does that mean in the grand scheme of things? Well, here it is against our old friend, the Presidio 2, excuse me, the Presidio 2 full size. If we line these up, you can see that they are very, very similar in size, right? The, uh, this is, in fact, a little bit shorter, but you get a little more cutting edge on the war spear. Here it is against the uh, Mini Presidio 2. These are very similar in dimensions this way, but, of course, the war spear is much, much longer. Uh, better for bigger hands, but it's good for small hands, too. Women carry knives has been playing with these for the week that we've had them or, you know, whatever, and she's... Really likes them too. <laughs> I'm sure her videos will come along later. Now, the blade shape is familiar. Uh, for those of you that have had a rat, um, it's similar, but not the same, right? It has a similar rise back here, but the actual shape of the belly and shape of the blade is different. Uh, I'm always careful when I get new brands that they don't look too much like anything else. That's a big deal in the knife community. Uh, some knives are very similar to other knives without being copies or even homages because there's really only so much you can do. But these are unique, particularly in the deployment. I love that front flipper, man. That is just awesome. For those of you that are not good with front flippers, this would be a great first knife because it is a really easy front flip. Right? It's just built for it. Now, because it is a front flipper, that means you have this sticking down into your pocket when it's in the pocket, right? So this is up against, but it's towards the back of your pocket. So it really doesn't present any issues. At least it hasn't with me. It is a long knife. So if you've got short pockets, this may be an issue for you as well closed. I know women carry knives has to turn this thing sideways in her pockets because it's long. The closed length, in fact, with that nub, one, two, three, four, five and a quarter inches, right? So it's a lengthy knife closed. I love stuff like this. I really do. It doesn't matter how fancy my knife collection gets. It doesn't matter how, I don't know, steel snobby I get. When somebody comes along with something fun and interesting in a budget layout with cool features, it just makes me stop and go, yeah, all right. That's rad. <laughs> and this is. I just think it's neat. There is, of course, a little too much billboarding on the blade. But the guy's still trying to get his knife company, War Spear, known. Um, I would, again, prefer that in the second generation of these, which I hope there are because these are very nice, that they go with just the logo, which is kind of cool. See that? And then just a little 14C here and maybe even a name. Because just calling it the Front Flipper War Spear is just not going to work in the long run. I don't know, man. What do you think? Tell me down in the comments. I really dig this thing, but maybe that's just me. Maybe I'm crazy. Let's get some specs on it. Let's weigh it. I haven't weighed these yet. Now, they are steel liners. 
I'm not expecting it to be an ultralight carry. And it's not that heavy in hand, so I'm not really sure. All right, four ounces for a three and a half inch blade, three and a quarter inch blade. It's, yeah, I mean, it, it's steel, right? So it's going to be a little heavier. Not bad. For me, it's a light knife. For some people, it might be a little heavy, but uh, that's pretty good. Uh, magic calipers, there we are. All right. So the handle itself at its thickest spot is just over half an inch. Just verging on 0.6 of an inch, right? So there we go, right? It is a nice handful. And that does mean, by the way, when it's open like this, it's, it's sort of round, but it definitely indexes correctly in your hand. So you know where it is all the time. And yet it fills the hand really, really well. The blade itself, not a particularly thick slice. We're 126 thousandths or... Oops, there we go. I know how to work my tools. Or 3.18 millimeters. Yeah. But because it is a high flat grind with a very straightforward and simple blade, that 3.1 millimeters comes down again to a really nice edge. Let's see if we... Oh yeah. <laughs> yep. That is a really nice cutter. <laughs> oh man, that is fun. So I have a couple of more of these, which I'm not going to show you today because I'd like to break them out as we go down the road, but you can look them up on uh, White Mountain Knives if you're interested. Once again, and it's hard to forget, this is the War Spear, and the model number on this one is the WP501K, which is not spectacular, but there it is. I hope you've enjoyed looking at this. I know I have enjoyed having it and using it. Um, I will go ahead and put the prices and the link to White Mountain Knives uh, in the description of this video so you have access to them if you're interested. Thank you so much for watching. If you are interested in the knives that I share, please subscribe. I would love to have you here on a regular basis. Take care, guys. We'll see you next time.